My yeah. buddy Shane Dorian, who's a big wave surfer, he just went down to uh, the CPI in uh, Tijuana, and they could do some wild shit down there. And they in they inject because that's part of the problem with it not being co completely approved by the FDA is they're limited in their applications. Mm -hmm. So, but in Mexico they're not, and so they've had tremendous results. And they inject directly into the discs. Yeah. They put you under under anesthesia. They inject you directly into the, the discs, and they told them, "Don't. I want you doing anything for eight weeks. Nothing. Yeah. You're walking. That's it. No. No. Nothing straining. That's hard to do. Man. It's hard to do, That's but it's hard. it's important. Yeah. It's so hard for guys like you and I that work out all the time. But it's so important. And one of the things that I realized. I was getting uh, a lot of stem cells in my left knee in particular. I had a torn uh, MCL, mm -hmm. and I just wasn't letting it heal properly. I would I would get the stem cells, and then four weeks later, I'd go back to Muay Thai, and I'd be smashing the bag and kicking the pads. Then my knee would swell up again, and I was like, fuck. And I was thinking, God damn it, I don't want to get surgery. And then you know, I would go back again, get more stem cells, do it again. And then I finally got the stem cells, and I said, okay, I am going to take a year off of kicking. And I didn't do any kicking at all for a year. Now it's back to full strength. Oh, nice. I have no problems with it. I'm slamming the bag, no problems. It doesn't hurt. It's still I'm missing meniscus in there because I had it scoped in 2003, I believe it was. And so there's a chunk of I had a bucket handle tear. It was a real problem. It was a, it was a nasty meniscus tear that I had. So they removed some meniscus, which can contribute to arthritis if you're not careful. But um, it just gets a little sore sometimes, but the structure is not, it's not a problem at all anymore. 